You know, there's not a whole lot better than Casey's Pizza in the morning. It's the best nutritious breakfast you can have. I feel like 9 out of 10 doctors would disagree. The 10th doctor, well, he just likes Casey's Pizza. Alright, so this morning we're headed out to Grant's to go and uh, borrow his computer for the day, or just for a little bit, to uh, go and bid on a brand new house. Or a farm, it, it's, it's a house on some farmland. Basically, the plan is to go and buy it, and then if we end up winning the auction, we can go take all our stuff there, move it all there, get set up, get ready, because today is the last day in the townhouse. So, I'd like to get out of there as soon as I can. Alright, there's Grant's house right there. I don't know if he's home at the moment here. Yeah, don't think so. But we're going to head in there and see if we can get some bidding done and win that auction. Also, YouTube says that over 75% of you guys that watch the videos aren't subscribed. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, consider subscribing. Bear, you want them to subscribe, right? So we can beat Jake, aka the formal pickle, to 100k? <coughs> Alright, well, Grant just left his door open here, so I guess we'll close that for him. There we go. Alright, let's go. I think his computer's just up here. Aha, here it is. Alright, let's go do some bidding. Bear, bear, guess what? Guess what, bear? Where are you? We're at bear, bear, guess what? I won the auction. I know, right? Well, I'll go chase some birds. I should probably shut Grant's door for him, or else Bear's gonna go inside and tear up the place. All right, so now that we've won the auction here, which I was actually surprised that we did, we paid a little more than we wanted to for the place, but uh, you know what? It was the exact place that I wanted, so I'm happy with that. We're gonna go head up, head back to the house there, grab the lawnmower, which is the only thing that's left there, and the trailer. And then I think we're gonna stop by the uh, shop there and grab the rest of our stuff there. We're gonna probably keep a little bit of the stuff at the shop, but I kind of want to bring the tractor over there because there's some work I want to do to the property according to some of the pictures that I've seen, so we're going to go get some of that done. Also, I have got to go pick up a brand new toy for us, but we're going to go do that later in the day, so you guys will see what that is a little bit later. Actually, you know what? Before we head back to the house here, I think Buck's dealership is actually almost open here, so we're going to go just drive by it real quick. We're not going to go in there because I don't think it's open fully open yet but we're just gonna drive by it real quick just take a quick little peek because i think it's supposed to be pretty awesome kind of got to go down a back road here all right this is it right here oh man look at this place actually he might be there today but uh yeah we're, just, we're not gonna bother him dang look at this place Whew, fancy i can't wait to buy some equipment from here that's for sure by the way if you guys couldn't tell that is bogging down my beast of a computer right now that is super laggy over there all right, well, let's head back to the house and go pick up the rest of our stuff. No cap, no stop. All righty, we're just going to hook up to that gooseneck there, and I think the uh, mower is in the shop there. So we'll grab that, and then we've got movers coming for the rest of the boxes here, so we don't got to do any of that stuff. We just got to move a lot of the big equipment. And I already moved the snowmobile to the other shop there, so I didn't have to deal with it, but uh, I wanted to keep this here. That way I could do some mowing, which I never got around to. <laughs> I was too busy. But, oh well. We already have this place sold. I actually sold it for more than I bought it for. So, yeah. That's great. I actually turned a profit. Just for everybody saying that it was a total waste to buy this property. I was not intending on buying a new farm this soon. But this one came up for auction. It was a really nice place. And I really wanted to have it. So, yeah. This thing will get put to use there. That's for sure. If not, the Batwing will. We also bought a pretty good chunk of land with it. Which we'll, you guys will see once we get there. But I'm going to head over to the shop there. And we're going to go pick up some more of this stuff there to take to the new farm so i'll see you guys in a little bit all right here we are well what are we going to take first here because we can't really take the uh tractor and the batwing that takes up the entire trailer actually i probably need to get a bigger trailer is what i need to do um i think the bobcat we're going to take and possibly the snowmobile i don't know if we're going to fit that on there but if we do we do all right i'm going to park this right here yeah it looks like we're only going to have room for this we'll come back and get the uh, snowmobile a little bit later or you know what we could just leave it here for now actually because we don't really need it. But don't worry, I got plans for this place. I think we're going to end up storing a lot of grain here because Grant's going to have a massive harvest. And yeah, we're going to need it. We're going to need the extra storage of those bins there. So they'll get put to good use. Also, the place here actually isn't that far away from this shop. So that will be a pretty quick drive if we ever want to go back and forth. I just want this stuff at the new place so we can actually do some work on the property. Just to make it look its very best. You know, I was thinking I could probably honestly just drive that tractor right over. Because it's not too far of a drive here. It's only about like three minutes or so. It's just a little much to drive a skid steer or a lawnmower. But I think a tractor. I think we could do that. Alright. Here we are at the brand new farm. I guess it's, it's kind of a farm. We're going to just call it the farm. Because we've got some land with it. All right, so I got both the skid steer and the lawnmower unloaded here, and we're just going to take a quick walk around the property here, just see what we got. 
So this field back here, it's a massive field. This place is huge. I think we've even got some uh, wooded area back there. So if we want to make some trails. We pro possibly can. We'll, we'll see. Probably we can, but we'll see. And this entire field here is alfalfa. We can rip this up anytime we want. If we decide we don't want alfalfa in here or something, if we want to do corn or I don't know, whatever, we'll figure it out as we go. Let me know in the comments section. Should we keep this alfalfa or should we plant it to something else? And then eventually here, I definitely want to do a garden. I think that would be a cool thing to do, which we could probably do actually right here would be the perfect place. So eventually we'll have to get that done. So yeah, this is pretty much the place here. Nothing too special. It's just a nice yard. Looks like they already mowed it here, which is real nice. But uh, yeah, we now own this yard. Looks like we have a decent mailbox. It's slightly scratched up. But we may as well check out the shop while we're at it here. And then I think we'll go grab that tractor. And then we'll go grab our new toy. That should be fun if we get some trails. But yeah, this is pretty much the shop here. It is heated, which is great, especially for the winter time. So I think, actually, you know what? We're just going to put some of this stuff in here right now. May as well. And then I still eventually want to get some uh, more attachments for the skid steer because it doesn't have too many right now. And it's just, yeah, it'll be better if we get some more in and then we can deal with other stuff later. All right, well, that's going to go right there for now. And we'll just pull this lawnmower in here. Ooh, should I put the trailer in there too? Nah, it'll be fine. It's not too big of a deal, I don't think. For any of you guys wondering, it is still early spring here right now because we don't really have seasons up so you guys can see it. But uh, it is, hold on, let me check. Yeah, so it's still early spring right now. Or a more late spring, I guess, now. But I think Grant is still working on planting there, so we're probably going to end up helping out with that here eventually. But I think for now, we're going to go pick up that tractor, and then we're going to go pick up our new toy. But should I give you a hint? It's a Honda. Also, loads of you guys who have been asking where to get this truck. It is on Mod Network. This is an edit, though. It's just got some different things that I wanted changed on it here, so... It's pretty similar, just a few little alterations to it, so... The original version of the truck is on Mod Network, if you guys are looking for it. So there's our shop right there. No cop, no stop, by the way. Um, yeah, there's our shop right there. And then our house is just down there. So it's like literally two to three minute drive. It'll probably be closer to 10 minutes with the tractor, but oh well. All right, I'm just going to back up to this actually. Probably our best bet. I was going to grab it with the uh, just the truck, but you know what? I think we may as well grab it with the trailer. But we'll have to come back for the truck as soon as we take this tractor over. All right, off we go. I got to grab diesel for this at some point. It's a little bit low. Yep, this thing cruises, that's for sure. I think Grant just bought one of these, or it's, I think it's a two-wheel drive. This one's a four-wheel drive, or at least it has front-wheel assist. So, yeah, these tractors are pretty popular around here. But I can see why. They're very nice to do small yard work with, or even bigger yard work with. I right, gotta wait here. I can't just fly through this. I don't have a fast truck. All right, let's go, 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 go. I don't get smacked by a truck. The traffic here is ruthless. It will run you right off the road. All right, finally. Hold on. Did, did my bat wing just unfold itself? Okay, we might have a loss in hydraulic pressure here. That's not great. Oh, well, whatever. Is what it is, I guess. If it does that again, I, I'll look into what's causing it. There might be a leak somewhere. Let me check here. No, I don't see any leaks. Maybe I hit the lever on accident. Oh, well. That just seems weird. Unless I hit the lever on accident, there's no leaks. Hmm, that's a little weird. All right, so we're back at the truck here, and we are going to go pick up our brand new toy here. And then try it out at the farm. Should be lots of fun. You know, I should probably head over to Grant's, show it to him, because I don't think he has anything like it. At least not yet. Watch, after I get one, he's going to get one. That's usually how it goes. All right, go, 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 go. I don't want to get smacked by a truck. Also, one thing I wanted to mention is a lot of you guys have been asking me for live streams or asking them to come back. They are coming back. I'm working on a bunch of different things. Right now, I'm working on getting my new stream room set up. I'm working on a ton of stuff. I'm trying to get it done as fast as I can to bring back streams for you guys, because I literally just moved and I'm trying my hardest to bring it back. So there'll be lots of cool content on the way, as well as possibly some real life content. We'll see. All right, I believe the house is just up here where we're supposed to be getting this uh, new toy. Oh, yep, there it is, right there. Good old Honda. Okay, where am I gonna pull in here? Yeah, we'll just pull up right here. There we go, a Honda. Pioneer 1000, camo edition. This sucker is perfect. This is exactly what we need. It's kind of a work slash play side by side, so we'll be able to do work and whatever else we're going to need with it but man this looks so cool i really want to put some new custom rims on it but i guess we'll see we'll see eventually here but i definitely have plans for this thing that's gonna be really cool to see what we can do with it but first we got to get it loaded up gotta stop again hate the traffic on here it sucks all right we got the wraps unfolded the straps undone here so we're just gonna jump in here and drop this thing off there we go all right nice you know what we're gonna go we're gonna go ripping may as well it's been a long day. I want, I want to do some driving. Unpacking and stuff can wait till later. 
Yeah, I don't know how much wooded area we got here. I think we got a little bit, but it's just so thick here around the sides. I don't think we can do too much. We might be able to make some sort of a track along the edge here. We just uh, take a bit of the field out here. Oh, you know what? I think our property line stretches way back here, as far as I'm aware. Kind of up to the tracks. So we've got quite a bit back here still yet. Yeah, oh yeah, we own all of this back here. Like I said it kind of comes to somewhat of a, a point here. Yeah, right to the tracks. Pretty much what we own it to. So we got some serious wood land back here. And we'll be able to do lots of stuff with it. Including probably build some tracks and stuff. And I plan to do a bunch of stuff out here. Like there's so much stuff I want to do. It's crazy. But uh, you guys will see that in a little bit in uh, some newer episodes. But I'm tearing up my alfalfa here. But anyway, guys, it's going to be the end of the episode for today. If you did enjoy, smash that like button. Also, if you're new, consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, new place. Should be a lot of fun. We're going to be doing lots of cool stuff out here. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see y'all next one.